and welcome to Crumbs and Doilies HQ. Now, hopefully, you tuned in on Tuesday for the Tuesday tips, and you have made yourself some delicious Rocky Road because today is the day I'm going to share my recipe for Rocky Road cupcakes with you. Um, now, if you're not sure what Rocky Road is, it's basically a fridge cake made with marshmallows and biscuits and chocolate, and you can kind of chuck anything else you like in it as well, like nuts or dried fruit. Um, but it's really tasty, and I love it a lot. And I thought, what if I could cupcakeify this? And that is what this recipe is, a cupcakeified version of a Rocky Road. So this cupcake is gonna be made up of a delicious, crunchy, buttery pretzel base, a rich chocolate sponge filled with pink nougat, a pink Italian meringue on top, and then it's gonna be finished with a lovely chunk of your Rocky Road. So I'm gonna start by making the buttery pretzel base. And I did this in my salted caramel pretzel cupcake recipe, and it is really tasty if you want something a bit different to a buttery biscuit base. Um, and I'm starting with 90 grams of pretzels, which I'm gonna whiz up to a fine crumb. Mm. That's ready, I'm gonna just dump it into a bowl along with 25 grams of butter and two tablespoons of golden syrup, which I've melted together. So just give that a really good stir and it should hopefully resemble sort of wet sand once it's ready. And when it is ready, you can use a tablespoon measure to just dump a tablespoon of the mixture into each of your 12 whole cupcake cases. And then using the end of a rolling pin or something flat, just pat that down and pack it really tight. Right, so once this is all nice and packed tightly, you can then move on to mixing your batter for your chocolate cupcakes. And this is just based on my regular chocolate recipe. I've got a nice big bowl here. I'm gonna start by mixing my wet ingredients together. So I've got 120 grams of buttermilk, and if you can't find buttermilk easily, then we have done a Tuesday tip, which is a buttermilk hack. So it's really easy to make a kind of version of it which will work perfectly in this cake. So 120 grams of that. And then I have 120 milliliters or grams of cold coffee, which I've brewed. Uh, you can use instant coffee if you want, or if you don't even want to use coffee at all, you can just use water. And I also have 110 milliliters of vegetable oil. And then finally, the last wet ingredient is one large free range egg. And then give that a really good mix together with a whisk. And it will look a little bit funky at this point, but don't worry about it because it's gonna look really good when we start adding the dry ingredients, which we can do now. I'm just gonna sieve it straight into the bowl. I'm gonna start with my plain flour. I've got 140 grams of that. And then 185 grams of caster sugar. 35 grams of good quality cocoa powder. And then lastly, just to give it a little bit of a lift, I've got half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And just shuffle that through. And then just mix that all together until it's a nice smooth batter. And then you wanna pour that into your cupcake cases. Obviously, it can get a little bit messy, so I like to put mine into a jug, and I'm just gonna use my jug that I used earlier for ease. And then, pour it all in, but remember that you have got that base taking up a little bit of room, so I would say fill it halfway. Now, you might find that because you're using a little bit less batter in each case, you have a bit of batter left over. Just bake some extra cupcakes, guys. There's no harm in doing that. And now you just need to bake these at 150 degrees C for about 19 to 22 minutes and just make sure they're ready by touching them on the top. They spring back, they are ready to roll. While the cakes are cooking in the oven, we can get on with making the filling. And this is gonna be a really tasty kind of cheats nougat. So nougat is a yummy, chewy thing, which often has nuts in it. Um, this is a much easier version. It's less chewy, so we can um, pipe it into our cupcakes. And um, we're gonna color it pink as well, so it's gonna be really cool to look at. Uh, so I already have 25 grams of unsalted butter just melting in my pan. And then once that's melted over a medium heat, you wanna add 100 grams of caster sugar, along with 30 milliliters of evaporated milk and then keep stirring it over a medium heat. It has a tendency to catch, so don't leave it alone at any point. Just keep stirring it for about five minutes until it thickens and begins to froth. So that looks pretty good to me. 
So take your pan off the heat and now we're going to add 100 grams of marshmallow fluff, a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a little bit of pink food colouring. So you should be left with a really yummy, thick, gooey nougat. Still quite hot, so just leave that to one side to cool down, have a little clear up and then we'll get on with the next bit. Our cakes are out of the oven and they have cooled down completely, so now it's time to get on with filling them. So I'm going to make some room using my trusty apple cora, and then I'm going to fill them with my yummy nougat. Now it's time to top them and you can use whatever icing you like but I think it makes all the difference to make Italian meringue which has a kind of marshmallowiness to it which will be perfect for the Rocky Road cupcake theme um, and it's super easy. I've done this a load of times in different videos. Uh, the Smalls Alaska one has a very in-depth um, breakdown of how to make it so I'll put a link to that in the description box below but essentially all you need to do is make a sugar syrup with water and sugar. Meanwhile you want to get your eggs whisking with a balloon whisk when your sugar syrup reaches 120 degrees C, you can carefully add it to your egg whites, pouring very slowly down the side of the bowl. Then you need to leave it whisking for about five or 10 minutes until it's completely cool to the touch, at which point you can add a little bit of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and some pink food coloring. Make sure you use gel food coloring, not oil. Then it's ready. So you need to put your Italian meringue into a piping bag. I am using a big round nozzle for mine. Now you can get on with blobbing your cupcakes. Mmm, and now I'm going to finish these off with a little drizzle of chocolate ganache, or you can just use melted chocolate if you like, and a little chunk of the rocky road that Sally made me the other day. And that is the finished Rocky Road Cupcake, which is looking pretty epic. I hope you give these a go. Um, if you don't want to give them a go though, and you're in London, we'll have these in the shop in Soho all weekend. So please come along and get one if you're in the area. Um, we'll also have a couple of our famous Rocky Road, Rocky Roads <laughs> um, that you can get as well. So come on down and check them out or you can order them online as well if you really can't be bothered. Um, but I really do hope you give these a go and take a picture and put them on Instagram because they're gonna look pretty awesome on your feed and I wanna see them. Um, and that's it from me. So I'll be back on Sunday with another Classic Cakes Bake Along and this one's gonna be a hummingbird cake. So make sure you head over to my Instagram at Cupcake Gemma to go and get your shopping list so that you're ready and I will see you there at 11 o'clock. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.